call the member for Braddon, the parliamentary uh, secretary. Yeah, yeah, we all know uh, there are sections of the Australian economy under great strain, particularly due to issues like the high Australian dollar and an increase in imports. Uh, the agricultural economy is far from immune to these uh, forces, and I don't need to remind members here. This includes sectors like the processing and vegetable, uh, fresh vegetable sector, which has a big presence in my electorate. To assess where we're at and to discuss options for the future, the Australian government is well on the way to delivering the nation's first ever national food plan, a commitment we made at the last election. And following the release of the national food plan, Green Paper, by Minister Ludwig on the 17th of July, extensive stakeholder consultation has been undertaken and continues at this very moment. Feedback from this process is being used to inform the development of the National Food Plan, which will be released as a white paper in 2013. The Green Paper is a discussion document intended to seek the community's views, to stimulate debate and launch the second part of the government's consultation process to develop the plan. The first part being the issue uh, paper released in June 2011, and contrary to the assertions made by the member for Forest in this motion, the Green Paper does address producer viability and outlines how current policy addresses issues affecting the food system, including agricultural productivity, market access and skills, and development. It also discusses potential changes the government may consider to policy programs and governance arrangements. The uh, National Food Plan Green Paper sought feedback on a number of possible policy options in relation to improving producer viability, including increasing public expenditure on rural research and development R&D, over the next 10 years, improving the Rural Research and Development Corporation model to enhance its effectiveness and efficiency, which we can do, uh, ways government and business can expand food trade opportunities, particularly with Asia, an industry-led working group to prepare a workforce development strategy, uh, focusing on ways to better use existing labour and skills initiatives in the agricultural sector. Government is developing a national food plan to ensure its policies support its vision for a food system where Australians continue to enjoy a sustainable, globally competitive, resilient food supply that supports access to nutritious and affordable food. Now, it's an important step to ensure a more integrated, coordinated and strategic focus to food-related policy along the supply chain. The national food plan will link and complement the recently released R&D policy statement and Australia and Asia uh, and in the Asian Century White Paper. Now, in addition to the food plan, the government has released the Australia and the Asia Century White Paper, which includes a national objective for Australian agriculture and food and a case study uh, uh, showcasing the significant opportunities for the sector. And I draw your attention to chapter seven uh, of that paper. The national objective outlines the vision for the agricultural and food sector and identifies pathways that will be taken to position Australia to meet the growing demand for food and capture the opportunities of the Asian century. Global food demand is expected to rise by over 30% by 2025, with most demand coming from Asia. Our agriculture and food sector is extraordinarily well placed to build on its strengths and to capture a healthy share of these growing markets despite fierce competition. The white paper outlines how Australia can make the most of these opportunities through listing product, lifting productivity, enhancing capabilities, securing better access to markets, and that in particular is crucial, having a shared uh, interest in food security and building relationships in the region, again, absolutely essential. Australia can build a food and production system that is globally competitive with productive and sustainable agriculture and food businesses and a reputation as a reliable supplier of safe, high quality food and agricultural products and services and technology to Asia. It also emphasises the importance of leadership and strong policy frameworks. Productivity growth has been a main driver of the product profitability of Australian agriculture and future productivity growth uh, will be a key determinant of future growth, uh, income growth. Productivity growth in Australian agriculture over the 25 years to 2011 has been about 3 per cent per year, compared with 1 per cent across the market sector overall. R&D plays a vital role in supporting productivity growth in Australian ag, and the government's matching contributions are a key factor in leveraging industry contributions. We are a strong supporter of R&D, investing in the order of $700 million a year for rural R&D through cooperative research centres, the CSIRO, 
universities, RDCs and many other programs. Thank you. The question Thank is you. that the motion